Hello students, Mr. Pacheco here. I'm gonna give you a little bit of breakdown on how to do this lab. So what we're looking at our purpose, determining the concentration molarity, and that's another way of saying concentration of properly made Kool-Aid. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna state this in your own words to the best of your ability. Then we're gonna do go through the method. <clears throat> So in this lab, what you are going to be doing is you are going to be making three different solutions of Kool-Aid. You're going to make three different concentrations and again, three different molarities. You will prepare 0.1 liters of each of these solutions. 0.1 liters will be 100 milliliters as recognized on a graduated cylinder. will be making the concentrations of 0.1 molar, 0.4 molar, and 0.7 molar solutions. We're going to use this based on sugar. In this lab, you'll be using Kool-Aid powder, a scupula, water, plastic or styrofoam cups planning on styrofoam, we'll see what comes when our delivery arrives. Stirring rods, I have glass stirring rods. Graduated cylinder, you've seen. We have a balance, which you've used in the past, okay? And I'll be showing you how to use those. A ruler for a certain procedure if things don't go right. We will use a ruler for our case for what we're doing, I don't believe we're going to need it. So in this, you're going to go through the procedure. Now, these calculations are a bit confusing to some people. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we know we are not making one liter, we are making a tenth of a liter, which means we're going to use 100 milliliters because our conversion is 1,000 milliliters is equivalent to one liter. So we're going to calculate the molar mass of Kool-Aid. And to do this, I'm going to go over to my other area so you can see my hands doing calculations. As we calculate the molar mass, we're gonna to need to review the periodic table. You'll find that we're going ahead and saying that C6H12O6 is the actual molecule that we are going to be using because most of what is in Kool-Aid is sugar. So we need to calculate the molar mass. We'll go C times the six that we have we're going to have hydrogen times 12 in this molecule and oxygen times 6 in this molecule. From there, we'll need to find carbon. Carbon has 12.01 grams per mole. We'll say 12.01. We're going to have to multiply 6 times 12. Let's get all of these numbers first. Hydrogen. 1.01 grams per mole. 1.01. And then oxygen, we'll have 16 grams per mole. Okay, we'll go ahead and we will add all this up. So we have 6 times that 12, and that equals. 72.06. We will add our 12 times 1.01 for hydrogen. We will end up with 12.12, 12.12. Six times 16, again, six times 16 equals 
96. We will add these together to tell us how much one mole of sugar weighs. 70, 72.06 plus 12.12 plus 96 equals 180.18 grams of sugar equals one mole of sugar. Now we get to the tricky part where we start to look at concentrations. So right in here, we're going to start with our calculation of molar mass. This will be the second video.